I'm Martha. Today we will be going through a 45 minute yoga sequence focusing on hips and spinal movements. There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot outside of your house and we may be feeling a range of different emotions. So these next 45 minutes are about connecting with yourself because we actually have that opportunity. We have that time and we have that space. So find a comfortable position, whether that be on a rectangular piece of rubber, as I am, or it is on a rug, it's on floor, maybe even outside if you're lucky enough. Find a comfortable seated position and you're going to let the eyes close. And we're going to let the hands come to where they can rest comfortably. You're going to start to focus on your senses. First, allowing for the ears to open up beyond just this room. Maybe you can hear some noises outside. Maybe you can hear some animals. Maybe you can hear other people talking, machines working. Whatever you hear, use it as your soundtrack right now. It may be distracting at first, but when, then we let it become part of the practice. And then allow your ears to turn inward. Listening to the sounds that you are creating. Your breath, your heartbeat, maybe some shifts in the body to get comfortable still. Recognize those sounds and allow them to blend with what you hear outside. Using those sounds to complement the rest of our practice, start to bring attention to the feeling below you. What parts of the body are touching the ground? What parts of the body are touching something else? What's the temperature like? The texture? We'll start to bring our attention to the breath. Notice if it's shallow, not if it's deep, notice if it's consistent or inconsistent. Bring your attention to the tip of the nose. Noticing the temperature of the air that you're breathing in and exhaling. We'll start to track that breath. Not changing it, but track that breath as it goes through the throat, through the chest, maybe even how it affects the belly. As you're tracking your breath on the inhale, see if you can track it on the exhale. If 
as if your breath had sense. Now we'll start to develop our practice of matched inhales and exhales, breath of equal duration. Your next inhale, breathe in for a count of five. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Exhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Last time, inhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Exhaling for five, four, three, two, one. You can continue this on your own count, maybe extending, maybe shrinking the count matching the inhale length with the exhale length. Tracking the breath. Settling yourself into your body right now. Release the count of the breath. Start to bring the hands towards heart center. We'll begin today's class with an OM. It's a way to take up space, take up sound, and bring yourself into this space, releasing the thoughts that don't have to do with right now. Start with a cleansing breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. And your own deepest inhale. Oh. You can blink the eyes open if you'd like. You can start to reach the arms up to the sky. Take a huge breath in. And exhale, hands, heart center. Try that with some rhythm. An inhale to reach the arms. And an exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, arms up. And an exhale, hands, heart center. One hand comes to the chest, one hand comes to the stomach. You can let the eyes close again. Huge breath in, filling up. And a huge sigh out of the mouth. Start to roll the shoulders. Opening up. And throughout this practice, you may choose to keep the eyes closed. You may choose to keep the eyes open. That is up to you. switch between the feeling of moving and the seeing of moving. The hands come towards your knees and we'll start to take some upper body rolls as if we are churning a big pot of soup. We're moving our shoulders, letting the movement come first just from the shoulders. and then from the chest. Still breathing. And then from the belly. Start to switch directions, keep movement in the belly. Come to neutral, firm. 
finding a neutral place of balance where both hips can support you. Another breath in, arms lift to the sky. And then exhale, find your child's pose. Knees come wide on the mat. Hips come to meet the toes. And our chest comes flat onto the mat. Arms reaching out in front of you. Take a breath in to take a peek up. Take a look at your fingers, finger pads pressing into the ground. Spine is long, take a huge breath in. And a sigh out, dip into the mat. Settle in, feel grounded here. And bring to mind an intention for today's practice positive word or phrase, something that you can come back to, to remind you why you're here, why you're dedicating time to yourself right now. that intention in mind, start to rock the head side to side, ceiling in that intention. And that we can come back to this place, this physical place of child's pose and this mental space of positive intention setting anytime. Start to firm the hands in towards the mat pressing up towards a tabletop with the knees come underneath hips, wrists underneath the shoulders, and we start to move in cat-cow formations. Inhale, chest comes forward. Exhale, spine lifts up towards the ceiling, head drops. Inhale, coming forward, cow. of breath. You can take extra movements if you'd like, maybe through the shoulders. reach out behind us. Just let the toes make contact with the earth as we start to rock front to back. And then on your next inhale, lift the left leg high so that arm and leg are parallel with the mat. Take a breath in again, sending hand and foot away. Exhale, elbow and knee meet. Inhale, sends them out. Exhale to meet. Try this three more times on your own breath. And then we let that left knee come down, right arm reaches up to the sky. And exhale, thread the arm through, spinal twist. Left hand reaches to the front of your mat. If you'd like, you may take it around to hook around the right hip. Slowly bring that left hand back, pressing into the mat. Right arm lifts high to the sky, rinse. And then our left arm reaches out in front of us. Right foot. Presses into the ground, reaching behind you. Start to rock. Feel where our balance sits. Press into the finger pads of the right hand and then let the left foot lift. Take a breath in. Exhale, elbow and knee meet. Inhale to lengthen. 
exhale to meet. Take this three more rounds on your own breath. comes down, left arm reaches up to the sky. Exhale, thread the arm through spinal twist. Left shoulder can come down, right hand can start to reach towards the front of the mat, or maybe it circles around and hooks onto the left hip. slowly starts to come back underneath you pressing you up left hand reaches to rinse take another breath in here in the tabletop then flip the toes hover the knees engage through the belly pressing through the toe mound and the finger pads and lifting up downward facing down hips lift to the sky Start to slowly look forward, feet walk to the front, forward fold. Opposite hands can come to opposite elbows, maybe finding your rag doll. Head and neck are soft. Hands release, take a breath in, halfway lift, spine comes parallel with the mat. And exhale, release. Start to root to stand all the way up, arms lifting. And exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot comes to the back. Low runner's lunge, back knee can come down. Arms lifting, Anjaneyasana. Hips are squared forward, sole of the left foot is heavy. Take another breath in, lifting. Exhale, folding. Left foot meets right, high plank. High to low plank, and then come all the way down. Hands come on underneath the shoulders. Inhale for low cobra, head and chest lift. Elbows tuck back. Exhale, coming all the way down. Try that once more. Inhaling, coming up. Stay here for a few breaths. On your next exhale, slowly come all the way down. Press into the ground, low to high plank, to come back for downward facing dog. Right leg lifts just for a breath to transition us to low runner's lunge, right foot in front, back knee can come down. Arms lifting, hips squared towards the front of the room. Heart is lifting, gaze might lift as well. Anjaneyasana. Another breath in to lift with the heart and the belly. Exhale to forward fold, left foot meets right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting all the way to standing, arms reach. Hands can meet, fingers point towards the sky to point your heart to the sky as your gaze lifts. We take a mini back bend here. Belly is strong as if the belly button could pull in and up. We are lifting up and back. Coming back to standing, arms lift, take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right leg comes back, low lunge, back knee comes down. Anjaneyasana, take a breath in. Exhale, fold. Left foot meets right high plank to low. Low cobra, take a breath in. Exhale, folding down, low to high plank. Downward facing dog, let the right leg lift and come forward. Low runner's lunge, back knee comes down. Take a breath in, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, fold. Left foot meet meets right, and we hang here. Connect with the breath. On your next inhale, slowly rise all the way to standing. And we'll take that one breath per movement. Now, I won't be walking us through this so that you can get into your own rhythm, get into your own breath, let your breath be your soundtrack. When you're ready, it's your inhale that lifts us higher to set us forward. The breath is Fold. And slowly root to rise, arms lifting as you do. The hands come to heart center. Take a moment, close your eyes if you're not already. Reconnect with your intention, reconnect with your breath. Open left hand comes forward, right arm comes back. Take a peek over the right shoulder. Hips are still squared forward. Take that to the other side. Right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches behind you. Shoulders are relaxed. a little bit lower, bending into the knees, a little bit lower. We're coming into our chair pose, arms lifting, sitting even deeper into this posture. Take a breath in, sending the arms high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Start to twist over towards the right, left elbow can hook over right knee. Take a breath in. And a huge sigh out. Start to press a little bit more weight in towards the right foot. Maybe the left foot gets light. Send it behind you. Twisted lunge. Both hands start to frame that front foot. Take a breath in, chest lifts, exhale, lengthen and fold. Inhale, coming forward, runner's lunge. Exhale, lengthen and fold. Find your rhythm, three rounds of breath here. A lunge, let both hands plant, right foot meets left, high plank to low and hover here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal up through the feet. Start 
center to look forward. Slowly walk, skip, hop, jump up towards your hands. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend into the knees, chair pose, arms lifting. Belly is strong, take a breath in. Exhale, sit deeper. Take this over to the other side. Right knee crosses in front of you to touch left knee. Get light with that right foot. Right foot meets behind. And we're in our twisted lunge. Hands come to frame that front foot. Take a breath in, sitting in. Exhale, fold and lengthen. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, fold and lengthen. Engage through the belly, three rounds of breath. Make this powerful. The next time we're forward, we'll let the left foot meet right, high to low plank. Try the hover. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, reach the right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, square the hips open towards the right side of your mat. And we'll take some twirls through the ankle. Take a breath in, send the leg long. Exhale, hug the knee in towards your chest, hover. Inhale, sends it out. Exhale, hug the knee towards your right elbow, hover. Inhale, sends it out. Exhale, hugs the knee across your chest, hover. Inhale, sends it out. Exhale, hug the knee towards your chest, let the foot plant. Warrior two, back heel spins down parallel with the mat. Arms reach from front to back of the room more of the mat. We let our gaze come right over the right fingertips. Hips are squared to the long side of our mat. Take a breath in and a breath out. Another breath in. Exhale, reverse, let the left hand come towards the lower back, right arm reaches behind you. And then another breath in here. Exhale, cartwheel, hands down, high to low plank. Find your flow back to down facing up. Next breath in, reach the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, square the hips to the other direction. Start to bend through the ankle. Inhale, leg comes long. Exhale, hug the knee in towards your chest, hover. Inhale, sends it long. Exhale, hug the knee towards left elbow. Inhale, sends it long. Exhale, hug the knee across your chest. Inhale, sends it long. Exhale, hug the knee in towards your chest. And let the foot plant warrior two. Back heel spins down. Arms are reaching to front to back of the mat. And we're breathing. And we are strong. And we are warriors. Breathing from the root up, take another breath in. Exhale, reverse. Take another breath in here, reach into the back of the room. And exhale, flow through, high to low plane. 
like the downward facing dog. Take a reset breath here, huge breath in, and a sigh out of the mouth. Right leg lifts high, exhale, hug it towards your nose, let the foot plant, low runners lunge, let the back knee settle down, arms lift on the mass, and we're comfortable with this, we know where we are. With the arms coming to the back, hands interlace, shoulders rock back, Back bend here, chest is lifting, heart is lifting, belly is strong. Your exhale, find a fold forward here to the inside of our right knee. So it's almost coming off of your mat. We're setting up for our lizard pose here. So let the knee come wide. Take a breath in to take a look over your shoulder. And an exhale. If you'd like to take a quad stretch here, you can start to let that left foot come to meet both buttocks. Right hand and start to reach the left foot. like this or we can start to come down onto our forearms whatever feels good to you we're here for five rounds of breath Next breath in, left leg lifts high. Exhale, hug the knee in towards the chest. Low runners lunge. Back knee can come down. Arms lift on Janayasana. Place behind you, shoulders rock back, chest lifts, heart lifts, and we'll start to humble out this lunge. Start to lift with the hands if that feels comfortable. Hands will start to come to the inside of our left foot. Squiggle up that foot even more, letting the knee come off to the side. Take a breath in, take a look behind your left shoulder. And maybe we play with that quad stretch as we did on the other side. And then we'll let both hands come down, settling in towards your lizard pose. Noting that it might be different depending on what side we're on. We're here for five rounds of breath. Start 
shoulders, pressing in with the left foot, let the back knee lift. We're gonna move our right foot up, coming into our prayer squat at the top of our mat. On an inhale, fly. Let the hands come towards heart center. If the heels don't comfortably come down towards the mat, we can simply just take this onto the mat and sitting onto the mat. Elbows start to help us move the hips open a little bit more. shaking uncontrollably and feeling perfectly fine. And when you find that place, breathe. Relax through the shoulders. And then slowly let the legs reach up and come all the way down to the mat. Arms lifting high. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands come back. Situate yourself onto the mat. If you moved off of it a little bit, and if you are coming off the mat and you have no problem with that, keep going. We're going to prepare for our forward fold. Start to let the hips sink in towards the mat even more. Take an inhale, arms lifting, and exhale, forward fold. Every inhale gives us a little bit more length through the spine, and every exhale allows us to draw deeper to release deeper. So to bring that left foot in, left knee facing up, wrap the knee and start to twist, taking the left hand behind you like a kickstand, inhales to sit tall, exhale to twist deeper. this left calf so that our sole of the left foot is coming right into the right elbow and our left elbow is holding the left knee to rock the calf back and forth.
gently start to release that right knee. Allow your hands to reach up. And we're finding that boat pose just for another breath in. Start to rock back and forth. And then everything comes back down. Right leg can start to come in. Finding our spinal twist on this side, our upright spinal twist. Right hand comes behind us. Take a look over that right shoulder. Inhale to sit taller. Exhale to twist deeper. Shoulders are soft, neck is soft. Start to come back, wrap up that right calf once again. Just to rock it side to side and see if it feels any different. And now we'll let that right ankle come down. Start to bend through that left knee arms reaching, just find your boat pose just for our shift. And then slowly come all the way down. Hands can start to grab for that left knee or left calf, pulling in and securing this figure four. Shoulders are relaxed. And we're here for three rounds of breath. to release your figure four, keeping them back on the ground. We're setting up for our bridge posture. Soles of the feet come to the ground, pressing into the ground, knees pointing up. Shoulders can start to shimmy a little bit underneath our back. And then on your inhale, we start to lift the hips. Hands can interlace on the mat below us. On your next breath in, lift even more with the heart. And we're here for five messy breaths. One more bridge. If you have any other back bend that you'd like to take instead of this, you're welcome to do so. And you're ready. Soles of the feet press into the ground, knees point up, shoulders start to shimmy, and on the inhale, the hips lift. Hands get into lace on the next inhale, heart lift. Give the 
just a little bit more strength, a little bit more foundation. Start to bring the knees in towards your chest, wrapping up close and tight. And then let the knees rock over to the right. Hands can start to come out like a T or goalpost arms. Gaze comes over the left shoulder. And our right hand can provide us a self-assist if you'd like extra weight on top of that left thigh. The left shoulder melts to the ground with every exhale. over to the other side. Hips are stacking and knees are pointing towards the left. Arms come out like T's and our gaze is over the right arm. to rock back to center. And if there's any other movements or wiggles or shakes that you'd like to take, your postures before settling into our Shavasana, our resting posture, you can do so now. And we'll take about three rounds of breath to find that final resting posture. posture. Take another breath in through the nose, pausing at the top of this breath. And then open the mouth, sigh it out, releasing the breath, releasing the control that you've had over the muscles. And allowing the next couple of moments to be you on your mat, knowing that that is the only job that you have right now. Shavasana. some gentle movements through the fingertips and the toes and the wrists and the ankles. So to gain enough movement that you can reach from front to back of the mat, reaching the fingertips and the toes. 
And then slowly moving yourself over so that your head can be supported and take a moment before we end to reconsider your intention. And slowly help yourself up to a seated position, keeping the eyes closed. come to heart center. And in gratitude to the practice that we just shared, we will end today's class with an OM. You can join if you'd like. Let's start with a cleansing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, and your deepest inhale. center in between the eyebrows a place of intuition and with complete gratitude for the practice that we just shared all in our very own homes we bow to each other and we say namaste namaste so thank you everyone for joining us for an online yoga class. I hope you're all safe and go drink some water. And thank you for taking time for yourself today. See you next time.